Proceed to the blessed sacrament. And come down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our God, our Maker. Lord, we are servants walking in the light trying to be the shadows out of darkness and become to worship you in spirit and truth. heaven and earth has come to us in this. We thank you. Lord, we come into to your house to worship you. And I bless you with the blessed sacrament. Bless your life. All those online, those who are in person, and those who will visit us during the week, seeking to walk in light. And worship you in spirit and truth as you ask in your word today. For God so loved the world, John 3, 60. Come into this place to worship in spirit. Holy Mass now, and the altar becomes a place of sacrifice and table fellowship. Stand as we begin Holy Mass and perpetrate on him and worship him. We have come, we have come into this place. 
Concentrate on Him and worship Christ us. Worship. Amen. We have our entrance hymn as we begin Holy Mass. Return to me, Lord. Come back to me. The Lord calls us faithfulness. We thank God for your youth ministry. Today is their mass and their return and their Lord thank our now generation or future generation. Thank you for our young people picking up the mantle to take the Eucharist and the Mass where no man has taken it before. Lord have I way. of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of God's Holy Spirit, be with you always. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Sacred Liturgy. Just have a few hymns just to animate our worship as we sing God to love this world he gave us only. That's why we love him because we don't love him because we want him to love him. We love him because he loves us first. We don't love him so he can love us. We don't love him because he could give it in. We love him because he loves us first. Amen. For God's love is in the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall have eternal life. God's love. That's why I love him so. That's, That's why I love him so. That's why I love him so. That's why I love him so. God's love. That's why I love him so. That's why I love him so. That's why I love it so. I love it, 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 Amen. Let's bow our heads. God so love. It's John 3, 16 and all over Miss World and in football fields, you see that word 3, 16. It means John chapter 3, 16. God so love the world. 
in spite of he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him will never perish. In spite of our ignorance and our first reading, infidelity in the church, and then they break down everything, they break down the temple, 70 years in exile. God not punishing, God is just cleansing with anger to get things right. So sometimes we in our new world now, we're not breaking down church, but we're breaking church, how we worship and what we do after mass and whether we participate or not in the divine life or whether we want to walk in twilight. Sunday one thing, Monday another thing. That's twilighting. God says to us in the word, I know those in light and I know those in darkness. But see people in the middle, I will vomit you out. The book of Revelation says, who not even sure where we are. It's called twilighters. Living in dark and the shadows of death at the same time is the worst place to be. As a matter of fact, it's living hell. Bow your heads and find out where we're living, either in light or darkness. Because when you're living in the shadow and the twilighting, scripture says he will vomit. Can you expose your sin? Satan doesn't want this word at mass. It's called confess. He doesn't want, after the Eucharistic acclamation, for you to understand the mystery of faith. The choir will be fingling what to sing. He doesn't want during Eucharist reception for you to become one with God. You'll be wondering what to sing and what to do and how to run outside. That's Satan work to live in darkness and stay in darkness. His job is to bury we in eternal darkness, not perpetual light. Can you name sin? Because when you expose it, you illuminate it. And when you illuminate it, it turns to light. But when you keep it in you, some people say, Father, I confess to God direct. No way. You have to open your mouth and name it. Some people come to confession and say, I have no sin. Where you come for? Some people just come and don't want to say nothing. You have to open. A murder, a killer, did, I did. You have to say it loud. Speak it out. Let light illuminate. When it's illuminated, it turns to light. If it stays in you, it turns into anger. It turns into unjust anger. It turns into pain. For some people, cancer, apparently, they claim. Eating up yourself. Toting negativity. Projecting on the social media. Pain. Unresolved. Get therapy. Get sacrament of reconciliation. It's what the church offers. And lift it up on a cross. Because whatever hurts you, will heal you when it's exposed. Bow your heads and name sin. Talk it out now. Talk it out. We know it after the age of seven. Together, please say that word loud. I, to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, and bow your heads. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us all our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. God is mercy. God is Hesed. Can you cry out for mercy? Mercy. Lord, be merciful on our families, in our schools, our nation, our world, our universe. We have abandoned you, infidelity after infidelity. Lord, we made our church into a social club. 
Let us be a participatory life in the poor. Thank you, Lord, in advance. Treating us better than we deserve. We put so much things before you. Lord, we thank you for mercy. in the liturgy of the word. Close your eyes, Lord. We place before you with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, perpetual light. Lord, we pray, praying that we will both be faithfully revering them in spirit and truth. We will present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of this entire world. Our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns, unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please sit, listen to the word of God of old. It reminds us of 1970, 1990, 9-11. People getting on bad, burning on Port of Spain, burning on the whole place. People getting on and God still cleansed. Though they went into exile and it seemed like punishment, it was cleansing anger. God is always trying to redeem, even though man is infidelity, after infidelity. And at the end, in the gospel, you have the guts to say, John 3.16. All the football feelers, feels have it now. John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only son on a cross. That whoever believes and look at that cross will never perish, have eternal life. If there's one piece of scripture you learn by heart, John 3.16. Listen to Chronicles. How bad People of old, Israelites, when God tell them I want you to be holy, they really desecrated the church. First reading, a reading from the second book of Chronicles. All the heads of the priesthood and the people too added infidelity to infidelity, copying all the shameful practices of the nations and defiling the temples that the Lord had consecrated for himself in Jerusalem. The Lord, the God of their ancestors, tirelessly sent them messenger after messenger, since he wished to spare his people and his house. But they ridiculed the messengers of God. They despised his words. They laughed at his prophets until at last the wrath of the Lord rose so high against his people that there was no further remedy. Their enemies burned down the temple of God demolished the walls of Jerusalem, set fire to all its palaces, and destroyed everything of value in it. The survivors were deported by Nebuchadnezzar to Babylon. They were to serve him and his sons until the kingdom of Persia came to power. Amen. This is how the word of the Lord was fulfilled that he spoke to Jeremiah. Until this land has enjoyed its Sabbath rest, until 70 years have gone by, it will keep Sabbath throughout the days of its desolation. And in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, to fulfill the word of the Lord that was spoken to Jeremiah, the Lord roused the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, to issue a proclamation and to have it publicly displayed throughout his kingdom. Thus speaks Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord the God of heaven has sent me all the kingdoms of the earth. He has ordered me to build him a temple in Jerusalem, in Judah. Whoever there is among you of all his people, may his God be with him. Let him go up. This is the word of the Lord. And just bow our heads. This happened 300 years before Christ was born, before Christmas. 
God brought Israel and tell her I want to be holy. It means different. Israel take it in the head and start to abuse it. And infidelity after infidelity. He sent prophets and he killed them. And God never gave up. God is not given up. Maybe after one minute after death. That's why he says, look at the cross and it will save you. Whatever you're born in, conditioned, whatever, persecute you, will heal you. Whatever bite you, I will raise it up to save you. What a God trying to reconcile over and over, yet man refuses. Psalmist, can you bless us? Can you raise up cross and serpent so we can be healed? If I forget to Jerusalem, let my right hand with us. Small hands, as Paul reminds us, God is mercy. We are his handiwork created, and God will never give up on us because we are his handiwork, and God is mercy rich. Second reading a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. God loves us with so much love that he was generous with his mercy. When we were dead through our sins, he brought us to life with Christ. It is through his grace that we have been saved and raised up with him and gave us a place with him in heaven, in Christ Jesus. This was all to show for all, this was all for all ages to come. 
to his goodness towards us in Christ Jesus. How infinitely rich is he in grace. Because by its grace that you have been found. To by faith, not by anything of your own, but by a gift from God. Not by anything that you have done, so that no one, nobody, they cannot claim that credit. We are God's work of art, created in Christ Jesus, to live the good life as it was from the beginning, he had meant us to live. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Just prepare ourselves for what Jesus says and does. And heard from Paul and David, the psalmist, and the writers of Chronicles, inspired authors, human inspired. You're going to hear from the authority himself, the, th the kingdom, the judge, mercy, God, visible in Jesus. Stand and welcome the gospel. Lord be with you. I read it from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Words of my mind and my lips and my heart proclaim good news. Jesus said to Nicodemus, The Son of Man must be lifted up as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes may have eternal life in him. Yes, God loved the world so much, he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not be lost, but may have eternal life. For God sent his Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but so that through him the world might be saved. No one who believes in him will be condemned. But whoever refuses to believe is condemned already because he has refused to believe in the name of God's only son. On these grounds, the sentence pronounced that though the light has come into the world, men have shown they prefer darkness to the light because their deeds were evil. And indeed, everyone who does wrong hates the light and avoids it for fear his actions should be exposed but a man who lives by the truth, he comes out into the light so that it may be plainly seen and what he does is done in God. Brothers and sisters, good news, the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise Just open your hands because the word is light, lamp to your feet, light to your path. We thank God for... I will Is a lamp unto my feet and a, and a light unto my path. Sing thy word, thy word is a lamp. Amen. So church, we sit and break the word of God, and today is the fourth Sunday of Lent. So that's midway Lent. In the middle of Advent, midway, the church allows us to wear pinkish. So you see the bishop wearing it. It's optional, but we didn't tell all, all the Eucharistic ministers or the servers, so we didn't wear it. 
It's just that in middle time, I learned that means they still have time to catch up. People don't get it right yet, I feel. You think Lent is crusade and coming back to church only. Lent is really preparing for Easter. And Easter is when you renew your baptismal promise. You tell Satan no. That's what it's all about. To enter into that Paschal mystery. It is sad that some people come to all the pilgrimage and all the nice thing on the Ash Wednesday. But they don't go through the tridium, which is the Thursday, Friday, Saturday or Sunday. You had to get in there for the grace. That's where the Bible begins and ends. That is why the first Sunday is temptation. The second Sunday is transfiguration. The third is in this cycle, temple. Today is Nicodemus. If you look at Miss Will, she did so well. Sometimes you see Christians, evangelical Christians, they believe in this text. If it's one text, you can put on your car, say your, your, your fridge, or your screensaver is this. Anytime you see three colon 16, it means John chapter 3 is one of the most beautiful pieces of scripture. For God so loved the world. Can I get it? Can I hear you, church? For, for God so loved the world. Whoever believes in him should never perish and have the eternal life. Belief is important. It's not words. For God so loved. Because as you see in the first reading, Christian read it. They were going, they were infidelity. The papi showed the temple, church, the breakdown, the bundong. He sent, he sent, he sent, they killed the stone. And still he loved in John 3 16. God is loving. God is mercy. And God is love. But still he says there is light and darkness. Nicodemus was night. Nicodemus came in the night. Maybe he was shame, I don't know. We like darkness. Remember a long time, Kati? You go to Fed, take all the lights. Oh, let's take all the lights now. Can I get amen? Kati's have a, a rent a tile. And remember, Kati, you can see the tile. Breathe. The Holy Spirit can't pass between Kati and the boyfriend. The silly say amen. We hate light. No, hate, hate light, yes. Even in Riverside Plaza, apparently the government had a problem because People who live lives in darkness, not, not sinful, just darkness and depression, don't want to see light, don't want to see the curtain move up. Because they're going to be exposed. But whatever is exposed will be illuminated, and whatever is illuminated will turn into light. Repeat, what is exposed is, will be illuminated, and whatever is illuminated will be turn into light. When you don't illuminate it and you don't expose it, it turns into heat. You can work havoc inside of you. I hate when people say, I can talk directly to the priest. I mean to God. Wrong. It's a thing called therapy. You spend 250 US to go and talk out your business to somebody. To bounce it off. There is therapeutic value in, in exposing your sin. Because Satan don't want you to talk it out. So somebody asked me once, Father, should I talk? Should I say confession? is Humbling is that's why Satan can't take it because you humble yourself to expose. I confess, I killed, I miss mass. He can't take it, it will work havoc on you. Apparently, they're saying all that thing you, you type in you will bring some form of cancer. I don't know. Nicodemus came at night, no, you don't be seen, my man. The woman of the well came midday. Because that midday was illumination. She came midday because apparently men was coming there. So she had not gotten over, gotten over a sexual urge. She came for man. But God changed it, illuminated with the Senate. Illuminated because she exposed it. She said, yes, I, fight, I, have, a, I have a struggle myself. I have a struggle, a bad mind. I have a struggle, I don't want to come to church. I have a struggle, I do believe. I have a struggle. I can't. You have to tell God it loud. Otherwise, it work havoc in you. It's important. Nicodemus came, maybe to accept sin, because the light judges. One confession is more than 3,200 exorcism. Imagine that one sacrament is like 3,200 exorcism. So people who possess with the devil, and the devil take possession of them, and you exorcise them, one confession is compared to 3,200 exorcism. The power of the church with the priest. When you come to me, you don't confess to me, you confess to God through me. Like when you go to a doctor, you don't go heal by the doctor. It's the ministry of science through God. And if God could deal with physical and you run in hospital, why do you come to the hospital and they? For spiritual healing. If God could have done that to physical, 
You think God wouldn't do it for spiritual? God knows we miss. Every six seconds we sin. Pentecostal believe that they forgive sin at baptism. So if their, their pastors forgive sin at baptism, what happened after baptism? You tell me. We are our baptism people. We sin three seconds after we leave there. The God that I serve want to take care of my spirit. God, I'm, a, I'm an embodied spirit. You can't separate it. There's an animal in me, I told you last week, and there's an angel in me. And Lent is trying to tussle this and come to arena tin. Anytime you're where you're going, where you're going, where you're going, where you're going, sex, 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 something wrong. When is it church and church and church and church angel, home devil? Up to this week, Father, she just come to church every day. That, church, that woman is a witch home. I just get it. I can't tell her, yeah. She is a, can I get a amen, church? Amen. Father, that's a priest. He's a, in Port of Spain, he's a wizard. You have to be careful. There are people who are probably showing, who have not met Jesus, have not had an encounter, and they're in church today, including me. Nicodemus was in darkness, and light exposes. I went to bless a woman's house. I sing girl, you don't call a thing. If you saw the place, and see the place put away, she well put away, the priest come in. I say, tattoo dog watching you, and no crochet dog. I hear them saying, oh God. And on top of the sofa, it's plastic, it's sweaty, oh God, so let me get up now. You buy a thing from court, so go, let me, let me, let me you know, you must buy the cushion, you put plastic over it, and two dogs watching you, so, oh God. And then at the back is crochet thing, oh God, ugly. But anyway, all I like that. I want to use my thing. My mother, after that glass, I said, let me break the glass now. Since you married, you, you, some other woman go take him in the dead old man or whatever. So I tell you, woman, let me bless and I bless it. If you see the kitchen, well put away. And um, under this step, I want to bless. I never see the church so quiet. Look at you. You like Bacchanal? You never look at me so in church. You're always sleeping. You're hearing people business today. I say, I don't go there. She said, Father, don't go there. That's not a bless. I say, it's there, I don't go to bless. And when I go there and do so, All important thing, and the, I am important, all the nasty thing, and, the, and I bless the thing, oh, she, no, she vex. Is that yet a bless? Because when we come here, we like, why? If you see how they're looking now, and if you see which outside after, can I get an amen? Shamina, watch me. It's frightening, church. The things you don't want to bless. I went to bless a place. The devil really, I can tell you, I went to bless a place in South Trinidad once, and I was blessing the place, and the woman told me, don't go in that room. It was a depressed man, and I, real provocative, I, real miserable, trust me, I says, dear, I want to bless, and when the man come out, he almost was slain. That man built a church for me. He was an architect. He waited to come out to light, to expose it, to be illumined. A lot of us in darkness, and we don't know it. Whitewashed tomb, and we don't even know it. If we have not gone to confession, I want to suggest you're in real darkness, demon. And that man built. Do you know what happened to me, church? I never told anybody, I tell you now. I could not talk after that blessing. Me can't talk? Something wrong. Can I get it? Something wrong. I want to suggest 17 years later, it was a demonic attack because God didn't want he to come out. We do boat cruises because we want to take the mass when no one has ever taken it. People not come in here because of we. And nobody doing anything. So we take, we go on the sea and we get in on. They could talk what they want, secular, this and they go, or they could talk what they want. Or they come for secular money though. And three times, we didn't talk about it last week, three cruisers, once Marcelin fainted. The second time, I see in white, and I had to take over, and I'm watching outside, I, I don't get sick, so. And I was driving me, killing them home, and I, 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 I just, I said, doctor, he said, Christo, stop the car and lie down. I dropped them, ask Mikel in. No, I gave a lot of money for taxi, Mikel. I, I didn't drop all you. I was afraid I was going to die. I dropped them, take taxi, remember? And I went and lied down. My blood pressure was 40 over 30. I'm stripping it so. My pressure don't go down. It's go up. 
Yesterday, Father Cornelius was telling me, Chris, daughter, tell you something. I think I'm getting a tax. Anything I'm coming here, my poor is raised, church. I can't drive. The devil real because he doesn't want you to expose it. He's exposed people's business on Facebook. That's what you want. Expose your business and your sin. And stop projecting evil. Nicodemus came at night. Because he wanted light to judge him. Nicodemus was a good man. He was a good man. He came at, he wanted to seek truth. There's a woman he fought for justice. He, he was into righteousness. And he buried Jesus. Three tenets of a dynamic Christian. Truth, justice, and generosity. Some of you just don't have any of the above. We are not Catholics. Do you seek truth and light? Are you just? Are you fighting for woman power or whatever power? Nicodemus is fighting for it. And then he wealthy, and he had education, and he said all of that was for the church. He buried my God. Nicodemus buried Jesus. Where was all the rich people and the churchy people? That's what killed God. Not the, not the blows, you know. Where the people who come to church on Sunday after mass in penal market? The Pharisees. Law. He was a leader, important man. He was intrigued. But sometimes they're in all that mess and they're searching for God. He found him. Will you find him? Did I scream? What does it profit a man to look holy and don't find him? Nicodemus found Jesus. Because he exposes darkness and the line that maybe he have on the grave for God so loved the world. John 3, 16. No one could be doing these signs unless it came from God. No one could have done what Nicodemus did unless you're walking in light. He bury God. That's one of the corporate works to bury. I, I thank Daniel and them. They went, we went to Smart Avenue, and our brother Dwayne, we buried him. That is a joy for me. When we went to Smart Avenue, Keisha, you know what they said? They said, nobody burying he but the Catholic Church. Because the Catholic Church is with a touch the Smart Avenues of this world. Otherwise, you're not a Christian. Don't see me tell you. Darkness. He came at night, he buried, and he fight for justice. To me, he was a Catholic. Why night? Maybe shame, not seen by other people. The woman of the well came in day. Maybe he didn't know. He was dabbling. Church, I want to tell you something today, if I don't tell you anything. Be careful about lukewarmness. It's very controversial. Jesus says clearly, those in light, I know you. Those in darkness, prostitutes, Catholic, tax collectors, I know them. Them is a mess. Those who are sinning, we know them. They have not met me. But you see those in the middle... The twilighters, one foot Sunday and one foot Monday, I will vomit you. The book of Revelation says that. It's those of us he's talking, who know him, who got baptized, who touch up the sacramental power of the Catholic Church and live in twilight lives. I didn't say it. Father, you're harsh. Maybe God is. Light and darkness are controversial processes. And that's why Lent is, is, light and is trying to find a medium, but never twilighting. For those who walk in the shadow of death will never have a perpetual light. Jesus says, I am light. In me, there's no darkness. The light shines and overshadows darkness. Judas says in the scripture, it was night. There is, there is imagery. You know what night means? Death, hell. Judas didn't go. When it was bright sun. The woman at the well went was bright sun. Though she was in darkness, she got illuminated. And, the, and, and she says, Sir, Messiah. Now, he said, I'm, I am the God, madam. And the woman dropped your bucket. If you don't drop your bucket before you kick your bucket, something wrong. And she became the greatest evangelist that ever lived. Nicodemus came at night to illuminate and to turn on light. I hope that happens on the fourth Sunday. On top of that today, he's saying... So just like how you, the, the, merchant, the servants, the serpents bite you and you die and you complain, you must live up that same thing. That don't make sense. God sent serpents to bite them when they were getting on bad. He says, to recover, go and take the serpent. I don't understand that logic. I don't want to see the serpent. You know what God's saying there? 
And so the Son of Man may be lifted up, just as a man. The man. What God is saying is what bites you and what trouble you and what torment you and what bedevil you will heal you. Never forget where you come from. Sometimes your condition is what God gave you. Allow to save you. Miss World says it on a big stage. She went almost. She says, I have depression. It's an invisible scar. And because of my depression, I want people to come out of it. That is what the gospel is about today. Asher Abraham says, it's called invisible scars. The whole world tapping into her because many of us live in darkness. But she raised up her scar and her whatever God, whatever the same thing that kill you will save you. Oh God, what a God he serve. Girl, what do you think? Use it as manure. Don't curse God. Sometimes God put you in a situation. Bad. Evil. Slave you. You raise it up. A woman says, Father, I'm not moving the cars that they've shot at. I'm not using the beer bottle, my husband. That is what came to me and that will save me. All the beer bottle there. All the bullets in the front. That's my life. Me covering up for nobody. <laughs> Father, bless you. Open the closet and open the door and build church. My tongue will loosen. Devil can't. One confession is more than 3,200 exorcism. This church has power. That's why I tell you, woman in the well, he said inside of you, girl. You don't go far. The water in. How come inside of me? Because God lives in you, girl. And it's well enough. You mustn't hand on. The best thing you can give your children is when you show them that you empower them. That they can wash their ways on their own and find God on their own and make a decision on their own and have a character of their own. So when you send them to the fed, they don't worry about. Because it's inside of you. You have great children inside of them. If you see Catholics catching the tail in you, we. Hello. Because you make them pumpkin and pum pum pum. They drunk in the canal in Yui. Because you never give them character, you never give them struggle, you never give them service, and never give them sacrifice. Pumpkin, what do you want to eat? KFC or Kentucky? You will get spicy. Just saying, tell all you know, if you hear the reports coming in, parents can't hear it. Imagine your daughter is a near, a near prostitute and you don't know. You bring them your pumpkin to be a prostitute, and you know, no. And men saying, I had that. Me, one, she. What save you? What kill you in, in psychotherapy that says you could bury nothing alive? It could haunt you. A lot of us have buried from our own memory pain. Go home and earth it. You bury sin and you hide from your own memory. Get behind me, Satan. I was raped. I was attacked, I was abused. Bring it in the foreground and illuminate it and write it down and burn it and lift it up. Invisible scars. Somebody say amen, but the song is so holy. And he came to light and he was healed. And that's why when look, some churches say they will never have a crucified cross. It's so hard to put Jesus naked and a God dying. It is a God dying. Some people like the trophy. It's the pain of running a race and the discipline that I want to see rather than the trophy. Nobody knows how the house comes. Can I get amen? Nobody knows how the house comes. And there's fight for my house. Hello. A girl came to my brother. My brother, real different. Hope he's listening. <laughs> Going upstairs. My mother say, you better come down here. She, she wasn't going to say the rosary. Can I get Amen. Before your neck gets on a platter, you know how house come. Do not come to desecrate this house. This is a Catholic home. She come to desecrate. She know how house come. You might doubles with herself. Amen. The cross is lifted up because to show you what you did to him. That is you. Your cruelty. Your papi should the shirt. You throw it up. Your bad mouth. You throw all the vagrant. You throw all this. The migrants. Oh, that is he. Don't see me tell all you know. I never forget someday when the migrants first come. Father, they must disinfect, um, disinfect the benches. You know. Eucharistic minister telling you that. 
priest will tell you, I'm not innocent. It hurts. It hurts. He says, everything you throw on me, scapegoating, cruelty, denial, Peter deny him, everything they... We kill the altar of God. We kill the altar of life. Don't think it's not all, you know, we, by her hypocrisy and making this a, a battlefield and a social club. And that's why he says, on top of it, the first word that comes out of your mouth when you raise up, peace. What he's saying is that, watch what you do. Identify what you do and what you're doing. But what I do, I return love. I'm love. Peace be with you. I will save you, but you have to choose it. That way you see on the cross is that we are not okay. The world not okay. And that's what Calypsonians do. You have, to, you have to mirror that. What we did. And see what he's doing also. He's offering mercy. So don't get tired. The son of man must be lifted up. You have to face the demon. That's why if you can't swim, you have to jump in the deep. Can I get an amen? If you can't do public speaking, go and do it. Conquer it. Whether you say you can or whether you say you cannot, you will always be right. Repeat. You are right. If you say you can. If you say you cannot, you're right. You have the power. If that thing you ain't do, you cannot get an amen. You have to, the cross will confront what feared you. Confront the cruelty, the injustice, the denial, the scapegoating, the violence, the excruciating suffering that man went, emotional, the abandonment. Where the people, where Peter, where all them people, Hosanna, the false acquisition on social media. What social media, you know? You spat on him, the deep suffering unto God. And you confront it, you expose it, you illuminate it. It turns into like nothing can separate you from the love of God. He responds, he absorbs, he disempowers, and he returns love. That's what the Lamb of God does. That's what our cross means. Don't take it on and put no resurrection. You miss the message. Divine love delivers, saves, heals, and absorbs, and responds. What a God, and we miss in the tritium because I have cricket. Good Friday, cricket. And God dead in. Finally, he says, you have to be born again. Father, I'm born again, you know, I'm going in the river. You cannot go to a crusade. Go up to a pastor, say a sinner's prayer, and say you're born again. Born again is not that. Born from above is not that. People say, he's a nice person, he's a good person, a good moral person, he loves God. No. Anybody could do the above. Religious people do it. People of goodwill, atheists. The Ministry of Social Work. You could be the nicest person in the world. You're not born again. Born again is a new creation. Born again is something inside you. You could tell when somebody born again. It's supposed to come from baptism. When you're baptized, you start to born. It's when you're crucified and you're eternalized and you're transfigured from inside out. You have become another Christ. You can tell somebody when there's another Christ. They go to Smart Avenue. You can tell. It's a kind of divinization. Church, I, I hate to tell you, you can't dare and go to heaven right away. There's a process. You can't just jump out the astronaut thing and learn how to think. There's, there's training. You can't just go in the deep and jump in the sea without deep sea diving skills. You have to be eternalized. This is what it does. You have to eat and drink. And while you're eating and drinking, you have to become. You can't say he's a good person and a gift to the church and a preach. That doesn't hit it. You have to be born. It's a whole new creation. It's a whole new style. It's a something from deep within. It is inside walk, church. You have to expose it. It's born of water and Holy Spirit. I want to suggest that it's the sacraments of the Catholic Church. That way I told you, woman, it well up. I want to tell you, if he was human alone, he couldn't save. If he was divine alone, he couldn't touch. He want to touch and save. He touches us and our tongue. He touches us in the word. He touches us with oil. He touches us. That's a sacramental power. Why come after baptism, nobody comes? Why come after con confirmation, nobody comes? 
you know, because we're not born again from inside out. I could say a prayer and I'm born again. The same person who went to the pastor and gospel, she called me last week. She's going for Leinster to be born again. I said, what time you're born in again? She want to go in the water now. Them thing can't do it. She going down dry sinner, coming up wet sinner and the pocket empty. You got to pay the pastor. Me want no money. Church, what a, what a reading. The son of man must be lifted up. Just how serpents lifted up. The thing that kill you and persecute you in your life will save you. And that's your own sin. Finally, for God so loved the world, desecration of consecration. Be careful, church. Desecration. It means you receive communion unworthily. Paul says, whoever eats and drinks unworthily, eat and drink their own condemnation. It come like Joseph. Joseph's family kill him. And next 10 minutes to eat in KFC. How come you be killing your brother? And after mass, you're on Facebook. Ripping somebody's repetition. And your tongue just had Jesus. It's called desecration of consecration. Don't say we say to each other, I do it maybe. I don't know. For those who believe. Has eternal life. Believe it not a head work, you know. Believe it in a proposition, you know. There's Africa. There's a, it's not head work and, you know, I got a five A's. Belief is not that. It's a relationship, a trust. Unseen. You haven't seen it. You believe it. It's in the cross. The pain, the persecution, the trauma. I will lift it up and I will redeem people's life. So much people want to understand as a witness in revealing and the Christ lifted up, you find salvation, eternal life. You're born again and a whole new creation. You have to be a new creation. You cannot leave. That's why the woman dropped your bucket. Scripture says she became the greatest evangelist. When you believe, you must be evangelist. Because they can't contain it. If you found something worth living for, you cannot contain it. I can't forget and forgive that Jehovah Witness woman who come in my car after mass in the bishop's house and put in my pocket. Are you saved? She bold face. I waited to see she again. I have not seen her. That woman is bonked for heaven. She have guts. To have a passion to get things right. That is Christian life. That's what Jesus says, infidelity. And God broke his own heart to include others. And God sent his only, when we kill the messengers, to gather you and me in our dysfunctionality. And God shared the love that he had with the Father, with you. That's the love you participate in. Dog and cat and plant don't. When they're dead, they're done. God pursues us first. He goes to the well. He raises up his head, nicking us late at night and talk. God invites first. I remember I went to a church in South and I first came and I was struggling to get my preaching voice. And a woman put on my carting, go and sell doubles in St. James. It hurt me. Oh God, as an Indian, but I don't sell doubles. I have, a, I have an island scholarship. It hurts you because you find it. You're an Indian and how you come priest. You know what I'm saying? People, all your people. I lie down in the cathedral for you, you know. I live to see I bury her. You know why? She said she came there that day. And the car just come. I said, car don't come so girl. Father, you was in my business. You in my business? Because they were saying, it. she said, yeah, because somebody tell you my business. I said, no way. I used to talk people business, but I don't talk your business. Because I don't know you. The next week she come back again. She said, I, I said, well, I know your source. You come back again. I'll give you a pepper. It's light. She eventually came back to be a Eucharistic minister. And her husband is a deacon. Because I sell doubles. And give she's light. God is going to your source and expose you. Illuminate it. And it turns to light. 
and your family will blossom. Whoever believes will never perish but have eternal life. The Son of Man must be lifted up. Open your hands. Close your eyes and pray for us and our families. Pray for those who are sick. Billy is sick. Okara is sick. Diana is sick. Francis. We pray for our brother Dwayne Pierre who have died from our community in Smart Avenue and his family. He was buried yesterday. We can face the demons. We pray for healing. St. Kiaga, gentle. Who has died. Those who are online putting up stuff. Candidates, come forward. You're coming to the water. You're coming to the light. Can you kneel? Sponsors, can you touch them? Pray for healing. Francis Nick, Anthony Caldero, Blair Dash, our brother Billy again. Gloria Raphael, and our brother Christo from Christ the King, not related. Must be lifted up, lifted up on high. The Son of Man must be lifted up, lifted up. Sing, Chit. Lifted up on high. Lifted up on high. Lifted up on high. Son of Man. We hum. There are lots of seats in front. Son of man must be lifted up. Erica, seats in front. Lifted up on high. Son of man. Son of man must be lifted up. Lifted up. Sheldon, can you come forward? Lift it up on high. Lift your voices. The Son of Man must be lifted up. The cross must be mounted. The serpent, whatever be devil you, must be lifted up. And those who are online, keen in their stuff, we pray for those. Special attention for Larry, Ruby, Diaz, Raj, Paul, Vina, Tara, Kailas, Petty, Phyllis, Susan. Son of man must be lifted up. Seto, Judith, Margaret. Those are people shut in, usually listening to us online. Pray for our media team in particular, our music, our young people, and these candidates. Lift it up. Lift it up. Sing, church. Can you lift your voices? Expose our pain. Up. of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may prefer the foolishness of the cross yes. to the wisdom of the world and seek happiness in God alone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the power of the Holy Spirit yes, Lord. may fill them with freedom and change their fear into trust. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That they may sincerely reject anything in their lives which is displeasing to Christ or oppress to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Candidates, please kneel. Lord. 
that they may become spiritual yes, men Lord. and women yes, by striving yes, to do what is holy and just. Yes, Let Lord. us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer for their aliens to Christ may find their strength in him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families and nations who are hindered for embracing the faith may be granted the freedom to believe the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the whole world which the Father so loves may attain complete spiritual freedom in the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That through the whole world, the sick may be restored to health. Yes, Lord, the the broken may yes, be whole Lord. again. The lost be may be found. Amen. And the found may be saved. Yes, Lord. Let us pray to the Born Lord. Again from above, Lord. That there will be divine intervention in war-torn countries. May the decision makers be guided by your Holy Spirit yes, Lord. and make decisions for the common good of all upholding justice, peace, and human dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, all cardinals, bishop, priests, especially our own Father Christo, and all God's people, that we will listen to the Holy Spirit and to each other as we work to make our church more the presence of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Son of man. Must be lifted. It must be. You have to be lifted. Church, can you stand and just extend your right hand? The Son of Man must be. You must raise up your pain and the things that conditioned sinfulness in your life. Lifted up. Lifted up. Must be lifted. And see what we did and what he restored, the Lamb of God. Lifted up on high. Jesus. Jesus. Light. Amen. We just hum that. Amen. We pray a prayer of exorcism. Just extend your hands really loud, long, powerful to fight away the darkness that Satan wants to keep us under fake light and fake, Lord, you in the closets and the demons and, oh, lie. Thinking we're good. Lord, we're not good. It's not about good people and nice people. It's about born again. It's not about moral people. It is a moral people. It's not loving God by word. It's inside out. Eternalization. Heavenization. Christification. Being another Christ. Through the sacramental power. Lord of mercy. Lord you have the man born blind to re believe. And believe in your son. Whoever believes has eternal life. Son of man must be lifted up. For God to love the world, he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes will not perish. Lord, can you give them eternal life? Lord, free them as they come to the light of the kingdom to be born again. Lord, free your chosen ones as they kneel before you from falsehood that surround and blind the inner eyes. Lord, let truth and Lord, wisdom and trust, belief is trust, be the foundation of their lives. May they live in this light forever. I bless them by extending my hand in prayer silently. Lord Jesus, you're the light, you're true light. 
enlightening men. Keep away from twilighting. And by the spirit of truth, free all who struggle under the yoke of lie and the father of deceit, clinging to worldly material, mortal things and people. Arouse the goodwill of these men and women who have chosen you for the sacramental power of the Catholic Church. Father, grant them to enjoy your light like the men whose sight you once restore. Inspire them to become fearless witness to the Catholic Church. For your God, bring them into eternal light. People of God say, Amen. Son of man, can you stand? Must be lifted up. Lifted up. Son of man. Son of man. Amen. Spend a few moments in silence. Whatever is in your head and your heart, simulate it. Expose it sometime. We thank God for our church, of which a sacramental power flows. I believe in God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit. And today he rose again from the dead. From then he shall come to judge the living and the dead. Forgiveness of sins. Resurrection of the body, life everlasting. We set up our collection and offering. Amen? Just offer all that we are and have. We continue to pray in thanksgiving for the Sutherland family. Amen? We have two collections, one for the seminary and one for the parish. creation, forever bless the grace. We have this bread to offer from what the peace of grace. What good has God have you as a self It will be God the labor of the Yeah. 
We bless God, we bless our bodies. Whoever believes, God so loved the world. 316. Jersey, tattoo, football, this world. God so loved the world. brothers and sisters that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Lord, we place before you this with joy these offerings which bring eternal remedy, Lord. Pray that we may both faithfully revere them, present them to you as is fitting for the salvation of the world to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God, by the mystery of the incarnation, he has led a human race that walked in darkness into the radiance of the faith. He has brought those born in slavery to ancient sin, sin through the waters of regeneration. That's what we call born again. Another word is called regeneration. New life, new creation, to make them your adopted children, Christified. And now with angels and archangels, creatures of heaven and earth, we sing a new hymn, a new song in adoration. We, with a host of angels, we cry out, and without end, we all now acclaim. Just open your hands and pray the song of angels. Oh, God. 
save our families, Lord, save our church, our school, our world, Lord. Angels, bless us. Blessed is he who walks Blessed the shadows of darkness. Blessed is he who praise you. Lord, we thank you for your presence. Can you just praise God? Lord, we praise Holy, 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 Lord, we praise. Can you just praise God? Lord, we praise you. Lord, we glorify. Lord, we magnify. Be glorified. We kneel. Can you have your hands clasped? Can you put your body in a disposition of worship? It's called worship. And truth and spirit is a kind of inside, outside, is a regeneration, regenerative kind of new creation, how you're Christified to him. That means you're locked into him, you're attached to him. That's what born again means. We did it at baptism. And we have an emergency baptism today. We invite that couple, our friends, and, and pray for this child. Lord, you are holy indeed. Lord, you are the font of all holiness. Come, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them, might you fall. They may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, he gave thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples and he said, take this, all of you. Eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Even though you don't believe, please don't desecrate consecration. Bow your heads and say, Lord, help my unbelief. Please, please, please. God is present. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The same God that Nicodemus was trying to encounter late night on the rooftop with Jesus is here. He was illuminated because he buried God. The woman at the well was illuminated. Judas was not. It was night. Which one of those will we be? Remember, it's not being good and giving to the church. That's not it. Bad people do that. It's about being born again from above. Christified, you can tell them by what they do on a Sunday and what they do to the poor and how involved they are in ministry. The mystery of faith. Sing church, keep your hands clasped. 
Keep your hands in a prayerful mood. Don't desecrate consecration. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial for death and resurrection. Lord, we offer you the bread of life, the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you have us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout this world. Lord, bring this church to the fullness of charity, together with Francis the First, our Pope, Charles, Jason, God, and our Bishop. Remember Dwayne, and so many we prayed for, our brother Dwayne Peer, from our community have died. Lord, welcome them. Grant that they who are united with the Son, like a death, may become like him now once in resurrection. Lord, remember all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and those who have died. Those who are dying now. And Lord, if we receive our calling today, Will we make it a perpetual light? Have mercy on us all, we pray. Through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, our most chaste spouse, our patron, St. Dominic, St. Dominic, pray for us. And all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. Father, we may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory, all honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command for my divine teaching, we sing the very prayer that God taught us. As we... some darkness a lot of us have light outside but inside is darkness the devil wants us to stay unexposed a lot of us expose it and so do we illuminate it you could raise it up on a, on a banner for healing of others and self grant two things peace in our days and by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin Father keep us safe from distress as we await the blessed hope one day the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom.
for many the most powerful piece of scripture is John 3, 16. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Whoever believes in him will never perish and have eternal life. What a gift in spite of the infidelity and the darkness that we choose. Look not on our sin. Look at the fate of your church, Lord. Look at his angels. Grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. Where you live forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. In fact, you come and share with our candidates, please, and our Spanish, Chinese community who's having an emergency. Come around, move around. We have a chance to express peace. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Come and meet our family. Come on, Shaman. Cook. We kneel, Lamb of God. That's why he pointed out the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Lord, may the receiving of your body and blood never bring judgment or condemnation for any one of us. But through your loving mercy, Lord, protect our mind and our body. Be a healing remedy. We are not okay, Lord. Many of us are twilighters. We have one foot in darkness and one foot in light. Lord, save us, your healer. Behold the Lamb of God who accepts all this pain and thrown at him and shows us what, what we did. At the same time, he restores that whole to the sacraments, especially reconciliation. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my room. But we'll only say the word and my soul shall be. May the body and blood of Jesus Christ keep us all safe for everlasting life. Amen. 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 Bow your heads and just... Eat this bread and drink this cup and we'll never go hungry again.
Sacrament most holy. The promise of Jesus, whoever eats my body and drinks my blood, lives in me, I live in them. I'll raise you upon the last day. O sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine. All praise and all Amen. Go ahead. Drive the nails in my hand. Laugh at me. Where you stand. Go ahead. And say.
Yes, I'll rise someday. Yes, I'll rise again. Not even God could keep me. On earth can tie me down. I live, I live for your church, Lord. I'll rise. I'll touch your broken body. I will live, church. Not only for me and my parish and my community and my family, go I'll go ahead. to the ends of the earth. Go ahead and mock the church. And say you let it go, but you will see that you were wrong. Go ahead. Try to hide the sun, but always see. from the ashes, Lord, and I will raise it up on that standard. Death can keep me in the ground. Can we stand, church, and that movement that we will rise and we will stand for truth and we will take the mass where no one has taken it outside the church. Yes, Lord, this church will rise again. We hum that quietly. You want to thank, just raise your right hand. We bring our family, just bring our family here to bless our Chinese and Spanish. Lord, they've come to us in a crisis and we ask our confirmation candidates to come forward to all those in the parish hall. Sherry, just bring, bless those who are journeying for confirmation. Lord, bless your decision today to have this child born again and born from above to be crucified into a new creation. Bless this in this emergency after mass we will take them to the water of regeneration to Christ our Lord Amen or to silver I mean God bless our candidates journeying bless our formators let them rise again come Charon come we love you dearly we responsible for your confirmation we want to give you good witness You confirm them in your faith. Lord, Lord we hand over this church to people of goodwill.
bless you, keep you, and make space on you. Can you turn around? Can you give them a round of applause for those who are trying? We adore you, we bless you, God, for their life. Amen, church. A round of applause for Candace again. You can go back to your seats. Hurry. Amen. Whoever is not for you is against you. Bow your heads. for you who could be against you we trust and believe for God so loved the world 360 oh God you enlighten everyone who comes into the world Lord illuminate hearts that are broken and darkened with the splendor of your grace we may always ponder what is worthy and pleasing to your majesty and love you in all serenity to Christ our Lord Amen. please sit for announcements we want to thank our sisters. Can stand up now, man. Come quickly. Yes, you. Say amen quick. We have announcements quickly. Bernadette, Teresa, Madeline. Come and say something quick and tell them where you come from and uh, uh, come and meet church and in. We have a second collection now for the seminarians. Apparently, you all don't give any money at all. So come on, young people, quickly. Young people who are doing the... Um, Hi everybody. Oh, okay. Hi everybody. Um, my name is my name is Suzette and Adela, Giselle, and Tanika and myself. We just came from the um, parish of Ladi Bina Pastor Safari, and I must say, being here today, being here today was a blessing. This um, us being here, it is God who led us to be here today, and I must say that I'm um, Father. The word, the, the word that was spoken today. It was erected at us, so to God be the glory. Amen. Choir bless them. Spirit of the living God. Come, come, y'all. Thank God for their lives and God that you have touched them by your word. And Lord, you Christian ministers, come and bless them and come on. In the Shaman, get up and bless them, please. Shaman, sleep in, boy. Oh gosh. Good, sleep in. Spirit of the living God bless reward for all on our visitors. Anybody else visiting, come forward. First time, second time. Dwayne, family, come forward. Dwayne, Pierre, come boy. Sherry. Lord, would you pray and bless? Mount, Lord bless them, bless you return. Tell them and mold them. Amen. Amen. So go back to your seats. Fill them, use them. Announcements. Spirit.
Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning, Good morning brothers, brothers and sisters. Uh, parish announcements. Adoration continues every Friday at 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. in Pinal and Mondial. Also on Sundays from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. in Pinal. Please come and spend some quiet time in the presence of the Lord during this Lenten season. Stations of the Cross every Friday at 5 p.m. Sunday, March the 10th, which is today, evening of praise, 3 p.m. at Monjab. Guest speaker, Father, guest, <laughs> speaker, Father Robert Christo, cost $150 adults and children $100. On Tuesday, the 19th, March 2024, at 5 p.m. at the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, Port of Spain, you are invited to celebrate the ordination to the order of the Presbytery. Presbyterian of Reverend Deacon Maurice Michael White. Anyone interested in transport by Maxi Taxi, please contact Michelle to add your name to the list. Cost to be determined. The Pope has described how prayer is the place where Christians recognize themselves as part of the one family in God because true prayer will strengthen those bonds of fellowship that unite us to the same Father. These words echo those of the Catechism, which teaches that it is in litur liturgical prayer that the church recognizes herself as one body addressing her, Lord, where there is prayer, there is fellowship, and where there is fellowship, there is prayer. Amen. Any birthdays or anniversaries? Good. We want to thank God for the youth ministry. Can you give them a round of applause? Our youth <laughs> choir. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Everybody, young people doing right, taking over. Whatever, make me feel older, boy. Amen. Birthdays, just happy birthday. We can sing for our brother. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy. Amen. One. You see, when all you keep the mask long and um, all is both me and blame me, right? One we have one. a group coming from San um, San Juan now, 100 people, and we have our baptism, right? So next week, um, a big day too because Chugonos is visiting us. Okay, they're, they're gonna twin with us. So come early for your seat. Uh, one more. Yeah, tighten up because someone will be outside. One more announcement: the Saint Dominic's RC Media Team Penal will be hosting its breakfast fundraiser on Sunday, the 17th, March 2024, and they are asking for a contribution to assist with the ingredients for the fundraiser. So you can see any media members to see what are the ingredients they need. And yeah. And have that's, a... that's next week, Sunday, when Chagonas people come. It's just $25 to have a little breakfast. So come in some morning just to help the media team for their equipment. They're trying to raise money for their equipment. And they also want to do a whole history of Penal and the church, a documentary. So they need some funds to get storage, okay? Support our young people there, are the present and future of our church, Shaman. We going down, amen? Shaman, you want to go down, boy. She want to hand on that part, too. Can you say the church, uh, the church is in good hands with our young people? Good hands. Eh, Kathy? Good, good hands. Amen. We thank you, young people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And bow your heads. May Almighty God bless you. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit come down upon you, remain with you, preserve you from that evil one. Grant you everlasting life. Amen. And bow your heads. Aaron want an extra blessing on the fourth Sunday for you all. Lord, look upon your people. You called out in church. Sustain weak those who walk in darkness. Give life by your unfailing light to those who walk in the shadow of death twilighting and bring those rescued by your mercy born again from every evil to reach that common highest good perpetual light through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen.
Go glorify God with your lives. Thanks. Our reception of Him shall be How great thou art. Sing with me. <laughs>